There's that, We're going live, bada bing. Uh, how do, how do, ladies and jerks? It is I, your boy, six and two thirds. More affectionately known in certain circles as the bullet ridden messenger. If you know, you know. Today, we are going to take a look at the house abandoned. I'm here with my older brother, uh, Judgmental Beef. Beef, go ahead and say hi to the people while I load up my own stream. Hello, hello, Judgmental Beef here. Uh, thank you for joining us for another episode of um, Six and Beef's A Series of Unfortunate Streams. <laughs> it's funny, because I was thinking about it last night, and I was just like, I was like, man, I mean, I like the name of the bro down. The bro down's fine by me. That's cool. I do, I do kind of wish that we had gone with like one of Beef's original uh, suggestions, which is confidently incorrect. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, uh, I feel like that's actually uh, this is more apropos. <laughs> Like a, we can, I mean, we can always just include that in. That is our theme and gimmick. Confidently incorrect. 100% <laughs> of the time, all the time. You know it. You know it. Uh, so, we're here to play, I guess this is an atmospheric uh, horror game. I don't know a whole bunch about this game. I People were talking about it, saying it's like, it's one of the must plays for, you know, independent horror games, and I was like, ah, I want to try it. We'll give it a shot. So... They've was, literally said this to you about every game that we've played and abandoned on this stream. <laughs> that is why it's called a series of unfortunate streams. <laughs> Pony Island completely broke <laughs> beef last week. <laughs> Like, no, I'm I'm sorry. Fuck that two bit hack. He comes up with two good ideas and it's like uh, mission accomplished. Repeat ad nauseum. <laughs> I Let's throw in some throw in some random ass evil lore. Let's uh, children are dead, uh, earthbound, <laughs> world's gonna die, some Satan thing in the disc. Oh, by the way, you killed Jesus. Yay, do you feel edgy enough yet? Alright, we're done here. <laughs> I I for one I particularly enjoyed Pony Island, but you know, <laughs> I, the, you were literally playing it. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, the, I guess that is well, the point. I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Oh, oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much, Erica. Just pop it in and say hello. Good morning. Fuck you. Affectionate. And I'll be back in later. Well, <laughs> fuck you too, Erica. Uh, she <laughs> literally came in and went, thank you. Fuck you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how you do it. All of all of Sixie's LCDs and uh, Beefy's tenderloins know how to get in and get out. Because I was like, oh, Good yeah, Lord. just like uh, just like Larry David. Uh, everywhere I go, I'm ready to leave. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and start, guys. I don't really have a preamble. I don't really have anything to discuss. Um, I've had a shit fucking week. This week fucking sucks. Uh, unless Beef has something he wants to share with you guys, we're going to jump right in. Beef, well, if, I, you, if you do, you can. Go for it. I, I appreciate that you've gone through it and it's like, oh, I'm going to play with my brother so that way I feel better about my week. So, uh, I mean, I, uh, this is the highlight of my week, too. I understand. Yeah. I mean, you know, he framed that as, as like, I'm going to play with my brother so that I feel better. I'm just like, <laughs> it's like Ugh. This is this is more more the obligation. Uh, no, but I, it's, I, I'm the type of person who's just like, Anytime I'm obligated, quote unquote obligated, because I could tell beef at any point in time. Now nah, we're not sure even, which I have done multiple times. Um, yeah. You know, like uh, I, I'm the person that's always dreads doing something and then I do it and I have a fucking great time. And I'm just like, why did I ever feel like I was, wouldn't enjoy it? And then I'm like, I should, you know, have a better attitude approaching it. And then the next time just start the cycle all over again. Never learn my lessons. Oh, yeah. He gets ridiculously depressed and gets, ah, I don't want to do stream. Nothing hits. I don't feel like it. Uh, I guess we have to do stream this time. Fine. Oh, that was fun. We should do this more. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know. All right. Well, well, I, getting... I would like to say that you are obligated now. Uh, Erica has subscribed for seven months. Yeah, I know. I was like, whoa. Wow. What and a, uh, what a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> right? And Erica, in return for your seven months, you will get four shows. Yep. 
<laughs> <laughs> that is that is the currency exchange here. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna jump right in. The House Abandoned, Episode One. Let's check it out. Ooh, professional fade out. All right. John McKellen seems like a familiar name, but I don't know. I can't. Something about that is familiar, but I don't really know what it is. He's probably the dude that did Press X to not die. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting big Press X to not die vibes here. No, this is way better. I don't know, though. Press X to not die was super fun. It was. Uh, any game that purposefully has Juggalos in it, <laughs> I'm in there. Um, I, I do have to admit that with the, uh, the, the slow AOL scroll over the top of the screen there, I am being reminded of uh, the porn that we used to look up and I'm getting half a stock. <laughs> no, it's funny because like dial up modem sounds and white noise does legitimately terrify me. Like I do not like those noises. Like they just straight into boner triggers. Yeah. All right. So beef is going to be our narrator. I told beef he can be our narrator. Um, Beef, go ahead and just give us, like, you know, uh, a fitting voice for this kind of game. Well, let's see, with the with the theme music they're doing. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. All right, well, let's, let's look in glove box. The glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Oh, God. Open. Are we going to have to do this forever? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both and leave the belt that he used to hang himself in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Same belt he used to beat the shit out of us with. Um, that motherfucker. Uh, let's look at note. Look at note. That was my belt, damn it. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. I hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Oh, man. Hopefully it's not uh, DIY sex videos. Um, no, no, no. It's DIY blow up doll. Oh, man. And I got a good. I actually have a good story about DIY fucking porno pics. Blow up dolls? Not, not blow up oh. dolls. Uh, uh, okay. Um, look, wait, no. Go back here. Oh, press enter to continue. Okay. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember. You this already read this. We already read, <laughs> motherfucker. You already read this. Um, what? Uh, exit car. Exit oh. car. There we go. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Um, look around. The trees stretch up to the night sky. There is the house and the yard. Uh, did I? Yeah, I left the car, right? Um, yeah, you're out of the car. The uh, enter car. <laughs> there we go. You open the door and get back in the car. <laughs> you pull up to the driveway of the family <laughs> holiday <laughs> home and here park here the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. Uh, you remember being told to look in the glove. I'm going to fucking read this. It's my only job. <laughs> uh, drive car through garage. Oh, fuck. Can't do that. I'm sorry. I can't do that, Dave. Um... Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, donut. No, okay. Uh, all right. Exit car. Um, uh, have, have we tried Baphomet? Baphomet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
The uh, house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door. The yard stretches around the side of the house. I'm sorry, I can't do that, Dave. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we looked around. I guess uh, mow the lawn. Mow the lawn. <laughs> Fuck. Damn. Man, this game ain't gonna give us no fun. Uh, no. Uh, open front door, I guess. The door appears to be locked. <sighs> you will need to use a key. Man, it's gonna be just like those old school point and click games where you actually have to fucking do every single fucking thing. Uh, use key. In front door. No, this is Pony Island Part 2, uh, Junters. This is Penn Island. The okay. door appears to be locked. It's the key to the house. Ah, uh, hey, what's going on, John? No, uh, Beef completely nixed the idea of Pony Island. <laughs> there will be no Pony Island Part 2. <laughs> I also told Six that um, uh, you have to f find out all of the lore in a second playthrough, and he went, fuck that. Yeah, no, I was like, I don't want to play it twice. I'm too fucking lazy. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. You step inside the front door and activate the traps. <laughs> you enter the house to the hall. The house to the hallway. You, the ha So there's a house in front of the hallway? I guess. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Look around. You can't see much in this dark, but do find a light switch. Uh, hint, hint. Turn on light switch. <laughs> you have gone heel on the light switch. <laughs> a click and nothing. There is no power. The note should say how to restore it. That was that was a really dumb wrestling joke. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Uh, read note. You can't read the note in here as it's too dark. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? This game is so ready to piss you off. <laughs> oh, go outside house. You okay. step outside the front door. All right. What did the note say? Read note. There we go. Jesus. Wait, the we already read this. this. Yes, but you didn't take oh. in what it was saying. Oh, yeah, that's right. I guess you actually have to pay attention to what it says. I literally read it to you, you twat. <laughs> it is dark. You might be eaten by a Gru. Ah, <laughs> one, one can only hope. One can only hope. All right, so we I are would like to right point now. out that the clock on top of the TV has not changed. No, not at all. So you have done nothing to progress in game time yet? No, nothing. <laughs> no. It's funny because, like, it said that this game would be, is like, this episode would be like an hour, hour and a half. And I was like, oh, they obviously have underestimated me playing it. <laughs> uh, go to generator. Why? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Walk to generator? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Fuck. Um, Where no. is the generator? Go to backyard. There we go. You take a walk around to the backyard and find a milkshake. <laughs> the yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. You are standing next to the generator. <laughs> you switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. You walk back around to the front of the house. Oh God, uh, oh, I have to go back inside? Jesus Christ. Go inside the house. You step inside the front door. Alright, turn on light switch. That should do us now. You okay. have gone face on the lights. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. 
Uh, we're gonna look around. We're gonna check it out. The hallway is a pleasant welcome to the home. Airy and fresh. All right, access to the kitchen and living room, as well as a set of stairs. Uh, let's go to the kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise, it's just a kitchen. They say that until you open a fucking cabinet and here's a gremlin. <laughs> it's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. If it's how is it clean and tidy if you haven't used it in a while? Dust collects. Oh yeah, big time, big time. All right. I'm sorry, uh, I can't do that, Dave. Leave kitchen. You go back out to the hallway. You didn't make a sandwich. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> you step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. All right. Look around. Look around the living room. There is nothing here of interest. Fuck a pillow. <laughs> uh, go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Family photos and holiday snaps. Our happy family. Mm. Alright, so which one of them is dead? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Uh, go to the bathroom? Go to the bathroom right there in the hallway. I don't suggest to do that in the hallway. <laughs> really, you spouse. are in the. B <laughs> <laughs> that that is your next command. You need to do that. I'll do it. <laughs> there is not much to note, but it's all currently in good order. Ah, poops. I'm literally. sorry, I can't do that, Dave. Oh fuck! I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. The bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. It's your reflection. Looking good. Shit. Okay. You can't go heel on sink. <laughs> you step back onto the landing. So if anyone's wondering, this is exactly how it how it sounds when I uh, DM a D and D game. <laughs> well, you're doing good so far. I like it. Uh, it's also, I don't have to talk, so it's great. Uh, <laughs> I think we found out based on um, your streams that are silent and get your most views ever. The, the viewers agree. Yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> you walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. She's 100% dead, right? Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah sister's totally dead in this. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. All I, the way. Some of her own attempts at art? I was like, damn, bro, that's rough. Um... Well, it's all being very vague. Your sister, perfect, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Mm. I mean, come on, that's uh, yeah, that's uh, she's one hundred percent dead. There is also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. Or the the dar fuck. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. The door is ajar. When is a door not a dar a uh, door? When it's a jar. There you go. Um, do you re do you remember Grandma May's car that would say uh, the door is a jar? Yep. Oh yeah. Like look at let's look at art. Posters of all her favorite pop stars mixed with some of her own heart. She was pretty good. Look, I recognize Tawny Katane. <laughs> Oh, Look at throw piggies. Uh, shut up. What's what's throw piggies? The lock. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you, you're typing like I talk. <laughs> she won a lot of trophies for dance and gymnastics. Talented girl. All right. Okay. Uh, look at that. 
It's difficult to see the bed for all of the soft toys. Every soft toy she has ever owned. Why is it all on her fucking bed? Is there anything else we should look at here? I, think I, I mean, the door is ajar in the wardrobe. How did you not oh. go to the closet? Whoops. Open closet door. It is empty, apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Here we go. Here we go. They are all identical. A forest road at night. You huh. put them back. The fuck? Who takes a pile of pictures of a forest road? Yeah, for sure. Legitimate. Why? I, th I think this is your dad. Oh, look at all this fun. Forest road at night. Maybe maybe our sister was a real estate agent. Um, <laughs> uh, no, yeah, your, your sister definitely died young in this game. Yeah. Leave room. Step back you onto step the back landing. onto the landing. Oh, I wish you could... Is there a way we could skip ahead on that? Uh, go to your room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift-wrapped box. It's a standard bedroom, a desk, a wood grain TV, the usual. Your good old desk. A little dusty, but still very sturdy. I wonder if the game is starting to get, like, fucking tense with you about, you know, Oh, look, I told you about this gift wrap box. Why don't you go look at the gift wrap box? <laughs> the thing that your dad said he left for you. Now. Oh, you can't open the desk. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, uh, look at TV. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> look at TV. A good few years old now, but it still works like new. Turn on Married with Children. Oh, you can't even turn TV on. It's garbage. Lame. What's the point of having a generator if you can't watch TV during a hurricane? Yeah, for sure. Open the box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a Futuro 128K.2. It's literally what Six was using to stream. <laughs> It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. <laughs> All right. Press enter to continue. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here and it's been preserved so well. <laughs> On your desk is a Futurama plus two computer and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up, though. What? You have to go through each step of setting up your computer. Oh, all right. Yep, you're right. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The opposite of what Six does when he hears thunder. <laughs> the computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here, too. The oh. computer is set up and ready to play the game. All right. I said play the game. <laughs> you put the cassette in the computer and press play. All of a sudden, it starts playing Kokomo by the Beach Boys. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> God, you fucking did a Kokomo reference. <laughs> oh, this is spoopy. Get out. Oh shit, I got half a boner again. Oh. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Are they really gonna make me do all game. of it over again. <laughs> a, a new game plus the fucking 20 minutes I just did. Well, no, I think at this point it's new game minus. All right. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Okay. Uh, look at note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says get out, 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 get out the car. Get out, get out, get out, get out the car. Get out, 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 get out. Right. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. 
<laughs> uh, all right. Um, look at key. It's the key to the fucking house. <laughs> Get out of car. You force the warped car door open and fall out, you drunk some bitch. <laughs> The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Oh. Oh. The lights are off. Windows are broken. There's the front door and a yard. It basically looks like the north half of Florida right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, big time. The yard feels cramped. What do you want? It's a yard. It's been used as a dumping ground for rubbish and waste. It's disgusting. <laughs> Um, should we go around the back? Go to the backyard. Hey, Axel, how you doing there, buddy? Uh, we today we are playing uh, um, reading the game. <laughs> yeah, today we're doing story time. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown. Weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. There's an old generator next to you. Better than puzzles all day long. Yeah, you're right, <laughs> Axel. It's just going to be one big puzzle and uh, hearing six not understand how what the game wants him to do. <laughs> so it's just like puzzles. The old generator can supply power to the house. You walk up to the generator and show it your junk. <laughs> There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Oh. oh. Uh, yeah, you uh, you you done cross uh, your eyes are crossed out. Uh, creepy. creepy. Yeah. S scary. Uh, go to front door. <laughs> uh, a reading puzzle. Is six gonna be fun? <laughs> no. He he always his favorite problems in high school were word problems. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big time. Uh, the house looks up. Wait, we already did this. Okay, fine. Open front door with key. The door appears to be locked. You'll need to use a key. Use key. Pedantic pricks, yeah, I oh swear. Yeah. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. All right. Like, you're literally going to walk in and get your, like, head set on fire by a blowtorch, like, fucking <laughs> hairy. From... <laughs> oh, shit, I heard a door close. Do you, do you need to turn around so you don't get stabified? Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You can feel compelled to read it over and over. So have you tried just, have you tried get out? Hmm. Get out. No, that don't work. Damn it. Get uh. out the car. Turn on light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart. After years of neglect or worse, there are stains. Oh, fuck. Eat my dick alarm. <laughs> Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in the house. That can't be. Oh, God. That's not good. Oh, uh, welcome to uh, Reading Adventure Chapter 1, Squatter's Rights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh, are we going to have to hear that alarm the whole time? Because we're just we're going to go upstairs turn that shit off right away. Can you use your mouse to turn it off? Try that. Oh. Try clicking the red. No. Uh -uh. Uh, hit stop alarm. Oh, God, I don't like white make noise. Make it stop, make it stop. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Somehow the alarm stops. Oh, which means there is somebody in the house, and they turn the alarm off. The noise has stopped, but you still feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. You gave yourself paper cuts. Go to the kitchen and get a knife. I can't, I can't read the note. It's bleeding. You wow. gave yourself paper cuts. Go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal, and there's a carcass on the table. Oh, joy. 
There's writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. It's probably your sister. Mm, probably. Uh, look at it, right? You... Oh, shit. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. How do you get a... Uh, brother, I have gotten paper cuts just from holding a piece of paper. <laughs> like, that's happened. Like... Oh, uh, okay. So I see that 1986 is now smeared on the wall in blood. Look at utility room door. There's a red X on the door. You assume it's paint. Oh yeah, must be paint. It feels like the note. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Uh, I guess the 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 clock has gone to nine 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 now. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, and also there's some this. Is 1986 smeared on the on the wall in blood, which I just pointed out to you. Oh, I didn't I didn't actually see it change. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> oh, I was too. I'm getting like really into it now. <laughs> like, uh, ghost. six are are your hands bleeding? <laughs> Did you come yet? It's stigmata. <laughs> oh, how dare you, the Axel? The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Get yourself a knife. You need to arm yourself because you need to go stabify whatever this squatter is that's taking your alarm clock over. What? 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 Mm. Motherfucker. This game. I mean, uh, there's a carcass there. You definitely can make a sandwich. Zero out of ten. Um... <laughs> Uh, I guess that's it for the kitchen, right? Have you tried twerking? Uh, twerk in kitchen. <laughs> nope. Oh, damn it. Leave kitchen. All right, um, I'm going to leave you to your own design here to die. I'm going to go help my wife get groceries in. Give me okay. just a second. Yeah, go for it. All right, still in the hallway. Noise stop, but you feel presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen in the living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Next Thanks. command should be um, go beat that ass. <laughs> Let's go to the living room. Uh, the living room, although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. All right, let's look at the note. They keep bringing us back to this note. The note, always changing, now reads, get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. The living room, blah, 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 blah. We already, uh, let's take, let's take a look around. Let's take a look around this living room. Look around the living room. Run down and empty, abandoned, and for good reason. Okay. <laughs> look at furniture? The furniture looks disgusting. There's no way you would sit on it. Sit on furniture. No chance. Uh, what else is there? I don't think there's anything to do here, really. Turn off light. No. Okay. Uh, I guess we exit the living room. Ooh, right. Still in the hallway. Noise stop. Feel present. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. All right. Yeah, we did all this. Uh, go upstairs. We got to go upstairs, guys. We got to see what's going on. Head up the stairs. They creak. Same, but different. Oh, fuck. Behind the door, if phone starts ringing, you don't understand. Neither can he. Uh, answer phone. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be in there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever you consider the worst. By the way, these kind of like whispering noises like heard through a phone, I find legitimately scary. Like there was there was like a one 
one part in the movie the mothman prophecies where like he picks up richard Gere picks up the phone and there's this like weird feedback white noise voice fucking terrifies me um that is the only part i found scary about that movie that's the only part i find scary about anything like these kind of uh, horror games uh picky protect just sit and rest yeah just take a just take a good sit just take a good sit uh, uh listen uh listen to phone you can't hear yourself think it's too much uh talk say hello can't hear yourself think it's too much talk to phone all right fine 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 we'll hang it up you don't want me to do anything with the phone i get it how about we look at note can we look at the note okay all right i get it we gotta hang up all right hang up phone hang up phone relief same but different the landing has access to your sister's room your room in the bathroom pictures are all over the wall but something is different about them all right let's look at those pictures the pictures of our your are of your family the eyes have been scored out on all Ooh. Ooh. okay uh go to bathroom you enter the bathroom bathroom feels disgusting every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime the sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs all right so we're just in the uh, beef's college dorm room really okay uh look around a broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink taps rusted in position look at tap uh look at sink it's disgusting grime and dead bugs the taps won't budge look in mirror it sounds more like an average room of a teenager you're right Axel you can't bear to look at yourself oh oh all right I'm back okay we all we did is we checked out we did pick up the phone and there's some whispering voices and this fucking scary shit we hung up did the you phone. bother to listen to what they said yeah it sounded like he was very low muttering get out um all right, so uh, now in, uh, and now continuing the story of Maniac Manson. <laughs> we we went to the bathroom. the The bathroom looks like your old dorm bathroom, um, and that's you were never in my dorm. That's true. Like I was in your Tennessee squatter uh, village. Um, right, my little squat village, and it, my bathroom was just fine. You had a good time sleeping on that recliner. Bro, I have never seen so much rust in one fucking shower. It looked like you slaughtered an animal in that goddamn thing. That wasn't rust. <laughs> Exit bathroom. Okay, so... Did we... you try pop a squat? No, I did not. Same but different. It's... The landing has access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. <laughs> yeah, Axel's right. Leave the house and get out of the house. We've repeated over and over. Ah, you know. <laughs> Have you tried get out of the house? I don't know what you were trying to use. Mm. All right. Go to sisters. Oh, Jennifer's have a name. room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Um, oh, yeah. She's 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 100% dead. Move boards? Hmm. Uh, no, I guess we can't go in there. We'll look at boards. <laughs> nope. All right, I guess we've got to go into our room. Have you tried cleaning the blood off the walls? The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Yes, because I guess when you were vacationing there as a kid, it's like, yo, they, they had to Harry Potter your ass and lock you in your room. <laughs> Ooh, my my wonderful Mrs. Beef just handed me two boxes of peanut butter and cheese crackers. Wonderful. Nice. Uh, the, the, oh, she got the name brand. She got the Lance. Look at lock. What am I supposed to do here? Four digit. Put com in combination or enter combination. There we go. Nice. You grab the lock, 
The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. <laughs> John said one, two, three, four. Same as a combo on my luggage. <laughs> and we all, we all know what the code is, right, Six? Uh, yeah, the code is 6969. No, the code is Baphomet. Baphomet? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look at note. It said something about the note. The note is reacting. Get in the door. Get in the room. Do it. Go. Do it now. Go. Go. Oh, oh apparently scaring Peach. <laughs> yes, John, he has big hands. I mean, what, what else is there to figure out there? He's holding the lock, the note, and the key. <laughs> Same but different. Ent. Oh, oh my God! Are you serious? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, that's cool. I like that. Uh, that's uh, that's worrisome. I do. So far, I mean, I do like how the interactivity is going with this game. It's super cool. I like, I applaud that. Um, yeah. So, are we are we supposed to like do Markiplier like you know jump scare reactions? Is that what the plan is? I don't know. I mean, it won't be hard for me because like, look, I get jump scared at everything. So, <laughs> like, uh, it's like I start up my computer in the morning. Oh God! <laughs> it's like what? Well, I mean, you you've got the door open. Go in. It says your room or your sister's. Uh, my room. Oh, God. Go into your room. my room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly unfamiliar. The walls are deep, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Um, hit yourself. <laughs> oh, boo. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting? I don't understand. Why are you hitting yourself? You see me sitting there, helpless. You edge closer. Oh, look, it's completely different. Uh, the, the, a totally different kind of present your dad left for you in your room. <laughs> it, it, it's gone from happy vacation home to hostile vacation home. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I am consumed and confused. This has to end now. End it all. Uh, end it all. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, I, holy shit, that worked! You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it! Uh, Say it! Uh... Baphomet? Baby Billy Bible Bonkers. <laughs> oh, oh, oh <laughs> please stop. <laughs> uh, stop. It was all my fault. Say it. It. Just say it. It. Just say it. <laughs> it was all my fault. Finally. Oh. Gunshot. <laughs> That's it. Really? Wait. That was the most blue ball piece of shit ending. Maybe there's what the more? hell was this? Or maybe this is. Maybe they're. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is red herring. I don't know. They're gonna fuck with me at some point in time. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> was that it? Seriously? Oh my god, that was what? I that mean, was... uh, in terms of atmosphere and environment, that was super cool. But need but a they paid off nothing. Yeah, I was gonna say need a little bit of meat on the bone 
I mean, they, they just subjected your viewers to 45 minutes of me reading. Bad and they didn't even give them a jump scare. Bad ending. Yeah, it might have been a bad ending. Hold on, let's go back real quick. I just there see- couldn't... What other ending could there have been? I just want to see if maybe something changes or if it's different or... Uh, can we skip this? Can we nope. skip this? Can we skip it? Wait, that was not... There was not a boy and a girl in that picture. Huh. Uh, never mind. Hold on. Can Excellent. I mention that I absolutely hate that they felt it necessary to put credits for themselves in this game? <laughs> I mean, how friggin' pretentious do you need to be? Excellent. You're not Black Mirror. You're not uh, You're not Stranger Things, even though you stole their text. <laughs> you pretend like listening to your reading is a bad thing. <laughs> that is the bad ending, Excel. You gotta listen to Beef Read. Um, Excel, look up if there was a bad ending. If there's a bad ending to this. W- let's just go to episode two, I guess. Yes, Axel, go straight to Game Facts. Let's figure this shit out. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, you know. <laughs> did you cool. even read the hint or did you just let it go right there? Uh, I don't know. I didn't even read it. Look around, go to, and open are your friends. Oh, here's the credits again in case you didn't get them the first time. Yeah. Don't know who you are. I wonder I wonder if the stories right like interlink or if they're completely separate adventures. Mrs. Beef is back here literally saying, I don't care who these people are. <laughs> I mean, they changed the intro here. This is different. No, it isn't. This is the exact same intro. Is it? I yeah, thought it was, 100%. I thought, I thought it was a little different. No. Oh. I don't know. No, I'm... they're trying to make believe that this is a Netflix show, and they've, they've made themselves less important. All right. Subject 1219 new session entry. Hey, you prick, that's my job. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Oh, you're about to get raped by aliens. Mr. Agent, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal. And we need you to follow them exactly. Oh, I'm not going to. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so... Always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Oh, here's where the puzzles come in. Oh, God, no. Green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. Yep, here comes the puzzles. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Uh, big, big lost energy you know the underground bunker and lost and right, or and literally the same technology and or big <laughs> uh sister location energy um okay sister's location she's dead so i you know she's obviously in that room somewhere seems like each story only has one ending a sort of twist ending oh okay what but there no there wasn't an ending you literally walked in on yourself blamed yourself and then the light went out i mean like, I like it because I. It plays more like a short horror fic. Like it's it's micro horror. It's micro fiction. So I uh, I thought it was okay. Like this. I mean, um, eh? I mean, it was like being John Malkovich, but because it's John here, being John Malkovich is what this was. I mean, <laughs> John John Malkovich. <laughs> I mean, John's probably bald, right? I've seen him on stream. I think, I think John is bald. I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> this is funny because, oh god, the fucking. It was like it was like two months ago. I asked Joey. I've been watching Super RPG Friends for like two years, interacting with Super RPG Friends for two years or whatever. And Joey is a co-host on Super RPG Friends. And I asked Joey, I was like, Joey, do you wear glasses? <laughs> He's like. He's like, you've been watching the fucking stream for two years? <laughs> He's like, yes. He's like, I'm legally blind. <laughs> it's like, fuck. I was like, oh, sorry. It's like, I, I forgot. Okay. So besides uh, besides jumping into Lost World now, uh, so they ripped off Stranger Things. Now they're ripping off uh, Lost. Um, the 1986 comes back. So apparently they're trying to build up the whole bite of 86 thing, like from Five Nights. Mm-hmm. 
what is this? Electromagnetic spectrum, X-ray, concentrated light laser, acoustic resonance, drill press. Yeah. All um, right. So yeah, we're we're definitely into science, Kama Sutra. Mm-hmm. Big fan of the drill press. Uh, let's go straight to drill press. Uh, I mean, you should probably start with safety instructions. Nah. Uh, switch drill on. Ensure all other equipment <laughs> except the camera and TV are switched off. When ready, trigger sync master as normal to begin drill insertion. Oh, yeah. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. How do we... Um, I would like to point out that uh, Mrs. Beef gone through and said, uh, first safety instruction for drill press, stretch. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I, what's going on? I'll read them in order. Oh, God, there are going to be puzzles. Electromagnetic spectrum. Required apparatus. Camera. Monitor. Set it to x-ray. Charge. CC86 and x-ray device. TV input modes. R3, IR, XR, XL. R3 equals RGB slash full color. Well, no, it's European. Full color. IR <laughs> equals infrared. X-ray equals X-ray. Exel equals nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Beef is killing it today, by the way. Um, Got him. Like, oh, they're stories with concepts of once popular franchises. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I can see a lot of influences here. Right. Sure. So it's like uh, uh, it's an homage or also a ripoff. Yeah. Let's go to concentrated laser. Concentrated laser. Thinking very hard. <laughs> Required apparatus. LZER, LZR2 light generator. Set the wavelength. Monitor set to rigaba. Rigaba. Light frequencies. <laughs> Red, 65 nums. Yellow, 60, 570 nums. Green, 510 nom noms. Blue, 455 nom noms. Violet, 400 noms. Okay. It cool. was just it's just NM, so you know nom noms. Nom noms. Nom noms. Uh, it reminds me of uh, Ninja Turtles, Toka and Razor. <laughs> nom noms. <laughs> nom noms. <laughs> nom noms. I can love that movie. It's so terribly stupid, but I love that movie. Acoustic resonance. Acoustic resonance. Resonant frequencies. Resident evil. Required apparatus. Signal generator. Z frequency and waveform. Amplifier. Set gain. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Profit. <laughs> Waveform types. Square. Sign. Sawtooth. Tangent. <laughs> Amplifier display. Fucking numbers with lines. That's that's Beef's favorite, it's tangent. Um, tangent, yes. I'm a big fan of tangent. And cosine. Mm, all right, we did... Hey, we did really bring back old... Good old geometry. Right. Sine, cosine, and tangent. I hated geometry. Oh yeah, my god, I hated it so me much. Too. I don't like abstract math. Safety instructions. Wait, before you perform drill press, use safety goggles and gloves at all times. Yeah. Do not leave the container unattended during experimentation. That is pretty rude to call your girlfriend. <laughs> the container? Everyone in chat, try calling your spouse the container and see what happens. <laughs> I'm already, I'm already having to help two <laughs> separate friends simultaneously go through a breakup. So, oh man, they they did rough. use the term container. Um, oh, it is extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to be able to get through this now. <laughs> Please ensure your next of kid is updated at HR. <laughs> As per your agreement, follow all instructions exactly. Okay. What, are they going to have you, like, drill press your own head or some shit? Oh, Lord. Th yeah, I hope this doesn't turn into, <laughs> like, FNAF 1, because, oh, you guys are going to see me struggle. <laughs> oh, no. No, we're going to watch you lose mm -hmm. is what will happen. Mm-hmm. Okay, we don't need to read that. We got it. We'll I mean, back. yeah, we don't need to read what it's telling you to do. We don't need to do that. Press the keys bracketed to move between tab. Uh, yeah, this is my job. Press tab to roll over to the test chamber. At the chamber, use your mouse cursor to select and interact. Don't you be taking my job. I'm union, thank you. I'm union. <laughs> oh, there's the drill press. There it is. There's the drill press. And that's yep, the container. Yep. And also, I would like to say completely to scale for Beefy. 
Uh oh. Oh, that. Oh. Nope. I nope. hit a button. You, you summoned <laughs> so, the smoke monster. Oh. I don't remember if that was on or off. Yeah, you should probably uh, guess. I don't know. Uh, all right, let's just click on things, see what happens. That sounds like a terrible idea. Nah, you know, brute force it, just like everything else. <laughs> just like every other puzzle. Oh. Oh, so there's a camera up there. Okay, that turns on and off. Yeah, th so that's the camera from the the beginning credits where you know the, with the pricks. We got the drill press. Turns on and off. Okay. Uh, can't do anything to the container. Turn the monitor on. There we go. Uh, make sure the RF adapter is plugged in. Infrared. Okay. Cool. Turn that on. Uh, how do we how do we move that up? All right, hold on. Uh, um, I'll be back. Yeah, do your thing. Okay, we can we can fuck around with that. That's cool. All right, turn that on. Uh, sixty nine, sixty nine. Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, clear. Oh, okay, that's the num nums. Okay, we can fuck with that baseline or basal line. Oh, okay, so depending on where you hold it, that brings it down. Okay, cool. All right. Gotcha, gotcha. Nice. Turn that off. Okay. Oh, wait. Awaiting x-ray data. Okay, well, we need to give it x-ray data. Oh, God. It is fucking puzzles. Oh, this is going to be brutal, guys. You should probably look at the diagram of what you're supposed to be doing here. Yeah. Uh, ch -ch 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 manual equipment layout. All right, so there was drill, there's the x-ray, there's the monitors, sink the sink master. master. What did it say that you were supposed to do with the sink master? You know. were supposed to um, put some Dawn in it and clean the dishes. Uh, doesn't say anything for sink master. Maybe safety instructions? No, no. No, okay, that doesn't say anything. Uh, all right. The okay. Monitor set the X-ray. Okay. Monitor set the X-ray. Okay, it's set it X-ray. Cool. Um, camera charge CC eight six X-ray device. CC eight six. There it is, right there. Charge charge ready. All right, that's ready, right? Yeah, charging. The. Uh, Okay, now it's charging. Right? Okay, charge ready. All right. Cool. The, the, uh, okay, so that should be fine. That's set up. Uh, let's check out the laser again. Required apparatus set wavelength. Monitor set to RG. Oh, God. Okay, so. Uh, uh, to Roygebiv. Roygebiv. Okay, set to. Monitor. Well, this is. All right, so there's our, so there, you know, well, the other one, you know, the one on the far left is Roy Jabib. This one right here. <laughs> yeah, that's Roy Jabib. Yeah. Roy Jabib. Okay. So you should probably set it there. Monitor. But this, uh, I guess if that's what we're wanting to do with the laser. Yeah, let's go ahead and fuck with the laser. That's fine. Let's fuck with the laser. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like the best thing to do is, you know, screw with the laser. Okay. Red is 650 num nums. All right. All right, uh, so 650 num nums. Oh, fuck. Well, you just turned it off. Good <laughs> Turn <job>. it off. <laughs> um, did I do something wrong? Well, you haven't done all the steps yet, and look, there's a giant plug over there where the, that's unplugged from something. So Wait. Probably. Where? Bottom left. Mm, probably nah. plug something into that eventually. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. All right, 650 num nums does nothing, so we're missing something here. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, All right, well, have you started with the drill press? Required apparatus. Do we have the laser thing? 
Oh, well, you okay. said the LZR. Right I mean, that's down there. Yeah, that's that. Okay. And you said it to 650 nom noms. 650 nom noms. So, what, did you read the experiment? Go to E and see see what it tells you to do. Subject is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Okay. So, so we're we trying did. to artifact whatever's in the. We're trying to artifact. Trying we're to trying to artifact it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> trying to X-ray whatever's in the safe. Gotcha. The container. Uh okay, uh, acoustic resonance. All right, so what? So what's up with the number one again? What were we doing on that? Nope. There you <laughs> go. Camera we have set. Monitor is is the monitor set to X-ray? I think so. Uh, I think the camera is on. Oh, camera was off. That's why. Now it's on. Oh okay, so that's a heart. That's a heart. Okay. Cool. All right, we're done here. We can clock out. <laughs> There's a heart in there. Uh, let's check out the laser again. All right, yellow is 570. Clear, 570. That doesn't do anything. Hmm. Well, um, you're um, you're gonna make some popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> we're making popcorn manually. We're not using the popcorn button. Never use the yeah, popcorn you're, button. Yeah, you're you're literally you're hot breathing on a corn cob. That's yeah, what you're doing. <laughs> hot breathing. Um. So, maybe. I think we have that set. Let's set the drill press. Let's do that. Yeah, let's set the drill press. Switch the drill on. Ensure all other equipment except the TV and camera are switched off. Okay, camera, TV. Turn this off, I guess. So everything else off. I mean, everything else is off. Nope. Uh, that That is on still. There you go. Now that's off. Is it? Now it's off. Yeah, it's red. It's off. Huh. Nope. Well, have you uh, turn the camera? Uh, I don't know. Turn off everything. Is it say turn off everything except the camera and the TV? Sure. Except camera and TV are switched off. Trigger sync master as normal and begin drill insertion. All right. So the sync master is down there at the bottom with, with the thing that has no power. Yeah. Because it doesn't have a power source. Does not have a power source. Either. Or have you just tried hitting sync master and uh, like the green button and see what happens? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Is not doing No. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nada. Nada. Exo, look up what we're supposed to do. <laughs> no, 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 no. Backseating no. is allowed on this channel. Negative. This is the, you know, <laughs> meh. Wow, Beef's actually into this. He wants to figure it out. No, yes. I want, you know, you got to, you got to find yourself in your room. Let's go and figure this out. <laughs> okay, that's not working. Well, because it's not time to use the drill yet. Yeah, it's not time to use the drill yet. Okay. Well, then we'll come back over here. Manual it. We did drill press. We did safety instructions. Yeah, we did. Look at the, uh, did, did you put on your goggles and gloves? No, I don't see any go goggles and gloves, though, so it's probably just flavor. <laughs> okay, we already know all this. Amp? All right, so... Uh, you no, the, with the amp. You haven't. I don't think that does anything, though. Okay, well, no. Remember, there was something where it's, it had a, a, a thing like that. Huh. Huh. Have you changed the frequency on the digital thingy? This thing right now? Uh, awaiting x-ray data. So uh, turn on the, the CC86. CC86. So there's the x-ray. All right. Still waiting. Hmm. There's the heart. I'm going to listen to Beef. He sounds like he knows what he's doing. He does not. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I have no idea. I assure it's, you. It's, especially because I have to work this through six. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I'm, I'm at a handicap here. <laughs> um, all right, guys. That's the end of the stream. <laughs> All right, well, let's play Jackbox. <laughs> yeah. We're time time to abandon abandon ship. <laughs> abandon ship. I right, turn on the digital uh, signal uh, generator. 
Just start brute forcing. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. That's what I'm doing. Wait, yeah. nope, nope. Go down. There you go. Uh, go back. Right there. Stop. All right. Now move over to the. Uh, there you go. Up and down. Wow. Super slow. Wow, you are slow. <laughs> it, it doesn't. It doesn't do it any faster. I swear, I've seen you turn your knob faster than that. <laughs> Uh, hmm. uh, turn on the amp. Amp is on. Turn everything on, yes. Drill press. Sync Master still doesn't do anything. Hmm. Is this the only thing you can look at? Is the computer and this thing? I think so, yeah. It's gotta be something we're missing here. No kidding. Something we're missing here. All right, well, yeah, required apparatus set to X-ray. Did you set the monitor to X-ray? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, this is the monitor. Well, the X-ray was this there because that's where it said awaiting X-ray data. So that's setting the monitor to X-ray. Okay. You know, like the XR there that says X-ray. Charge CC86 X-ray device. So charge the CC X. So okay. Um, charge ready. You have to do everything in the exact order. So turn it. Uh, so now you have it set to X-ray. Turn off the CC86. All right, it's turned off. Now charge it. Charging. Oh wait, you've got the nom noms. Turn off the nom noms. Nom noms turned off. Ah, see, there we go. Now the X-ray is charged. Okay, cool. Uh. Oh. Okay. oh, wait, no, you're about to drill the crap out of this. Oh, hey, look, we brute forced it. We did. Is it going to start screaming when you drill it? Like normal? Mm. Oh. <laughs> yep. Did I catch you mid-vape, or what was that? Uh, I was drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Press oh. enter to receive new experiment task. Okay. Oh, Lord. Nice. All right, so way to brute force that and eventually just listen to your brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. For anybody that doesn't know, this is how every single escape room with six goes. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh. Usually, uh, when I do an escape room, I, I am all support role because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just spectating. When, uh, when we do some escape rooms with six... Six's role becomes, let me entertain the kids. Yeah, basically. <laughs> because I become one of them. <laughs> and, and Mrs. Beef immediately goes, and he's very good at it, too. <laughs> All right. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low-powered red laser, RED laser, to begin with. Okay. I, I like how you had to spell out red. Shut up. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Very good, good. Yeah, you're right. Good job. Gold okay. star. Red laser. All right. That uh, red laser we saw was the num noms, right? I, I think so, but you should probably start at, you know, yeah. Six red is uh, 650 noms. All right, 650 noms. So you got to set the wavelength. Uh, 650 noms. Uh, um. Yeah, set it to, to Rojibiv. Try using... Oh, got to set it to Rojibiv. Yeah, because you're still on X-Ray. There we go. Is it ready? Is that what it's wanting? I guess. Yep. Easy. No reaction from first stage. Let's try higher frequency. Higher frequency? Okie doke. Oh, see? So easy. See, look at that. You just follow instructions and you get moving. Ah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so now we need green. So yes. green is 510 num nums. So 510 num nums. I mean, this is kind of like an escape room of sorts. Way easier. This is like the science farmville of escape rooms. Here's a bunch of random Here tasks. To do repeatedly until you quit. Yeah. Let's keep going. Increase again. Okie okay, doke. Ah, see? Pro gamer. Look at this. Just fucking breezing through it now. 
So this is obviously from 1986. So this is teaching us how Taco Bell meat is made. <laughs> it comes in a bag. Taco Bell meat. Uh, blue, 455. Clear, 455 for 40 minutes. Dino Nugs. Oh, oh God! Nice. Oh God! Well, it's a life. Would you look it seems we have a pulse. Now hit it with a drill. It's stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Cow heart. Experiment. All right. Okay. Resonance. Wait, I saw Game team. of Thrones. Now you need to eat it. Yeah. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the pro of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to one. Okay, that sounds easy. Right. 250 so hertz. So sine was the middle one. Sine. Yep, that was sine. Turn it on. And uh, you oh. said 250 hertz. Are you serious? We're gonna have to. F okay. Oh, okay. Thank God. Oh, Jesus you mean you Christ. move it higher and it goes higher. Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> what a concept. All right. Oh, too high. Bring it back down. There. Too oh. low. Oh. Too high. This is just like when I try to pump gas and try to end exactly <laughs> on the number. <laughs> All right. So we've graduated from a reading to pumping gas with six and beef. Amplifier gain one. set to one. How can you tell if that's one or not? Normally, it's because you have it set on the first dot. Yeah, but... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. All right. I just want to make sure. All right, set to one. Uh, test the acoustic resonance. Turn the laser off? Yep, turn the laser off. Okay. You're going to make this heart explode, aren't you? much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. For those that don't know, this yeah, guy sounds exactly like Axel. Axel, did you do voice work for this game? No, it's not German enough. Axel <laughs> has, like, the deepest German voice. It's, it's so crazy. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Like... All right, test Increase the... the frequency to 500 hertz, sine wave, and amplify a gain of five, yeah. Sine wave. Sine wave was... The one that we already have it on. Is it? Yes, it's literally the same thing that we've, that we've already... We're just increasing the frequency. Okay. That works. Oh, more, more Flash Gordon noises. There we go. Uh, I have natural gravel. The gravel is from a shitty mic. <laughs> sure, blame the mic, bro. <laughs> right. Like, uh, experiment. Five. Okay. Amp. Got to go to five. We got to turn it all. We got to turn it up to eleven here. Yeah. No, that that probably won't work. Five. Oh, yep. You missed it because it flashed green. There you go. Better be. I mean, this is pretty cool. I do like this. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The other thing was much better until... Ah, I like... Nothing happened. What about a volunteer? I don't know. What about our volunteer? Okay, we're going to push further. I'm running out of You or the heart? Switch around. Um... I like this has a little bit more interactivity. I mean, I had read uh, that the house abandoned was released as a standalone, you know, kind of thing. And then a year later, he developed all these. So he he had his uh, basically the house abandoned was his ability to crawl before he walked. So this has more interactivity in it. That's why I like it. Sure. All right, switch to square wave, maintaining current frequency, and gain five. So we just got to switch to square. So switch to square. It's hip to be square. That's not square. That is square. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Uh-oh. Uh, that, that's, that, that's no good. That's no good. Activity on this side, seeing definite spikes in movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous, but you need to trust us and keep going. 
That sounds like a terrible idea. When did they record me on Adderall? Uh, <laughs> agitation. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Maintain the gain and the square wave. Bring the waveform frequency up to one kilohertz. Uh, this nope. wave... The laser. Oh, you got to bring it all the way down to one? No. No. Okay, so that's 500 hertz. What's one kilohertz? A thousand. Figure out your European stuff there, buddy. A thousand? I'm not a European. Axel, help us. <laughs> it's a kilo. A thousand. <laughs> You're a German. <laughs> you know this. Oh, we're just we're gonna blast the shit out of this heart. <laughs> this is what happens when you leave a potato in the microwave. This is uh, live footage of Macho Man Randy Savage's uh, heart during the <laughs> late 80s. <laughs> Like, just freeform cocaine. Um, for anybody wondering why we're doing this experiment, this heart is meant for Mitch McConnell. We need to kill it now. <laughs> oh, no. Full activity registering. We did it. We explodified it. <laughs> nice. You've made excellent progress. Really? Great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps so now we need you to open the microwave and lick the walls <laughs> okay so we're just blowing up hearts that's the experiment all right proceed to drill the surface i feel like so we could have now... just i feel like we could have just got a, an amana fucking microwave and uh, cut out all the other steps <laughs> Just slap that bitch in there, put it on popcorn setting, and call it a day. Is is this the point where I tell you that my uh, my coworker burned his kitchen down with an air fryer? Oh, are you serious? Yes, he did. Oh. He bought it on set on Friday, burned his kitchen down on Saturday. Oh, pff, did he buy like a, <laughs> a shitty one? Well, how did that happen? Nope he he bought a name brand one from a name brand store and burned his his kitchen down. Wow. That sucks, man. I love air fryers. I think air fryers are fucking fantastic. They're way better than microwaves. They're way better than ovens. But every single time, especially my air fryer, because it's a Chinese piece of shit knockoff, um, every time I turn it on, I'm like, oh, here, is this going to be the big one? It's like, shit. Yeah, so now every time that you use it, you're going to worry that you're burning your kitchen down. Oh, I already do, especially because whenever I use it, I'm <laughs> fucking high out of my gourd. So, like, so, I, um, I go two just... things to take away from today's stream is you're going to burn your kitchen down and your next girlfriend, you're going to call the container. Ah, <laughs> uh, bro, after fucking uh, coaching people through their breakups, there will be no girlfriend. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. It's all, it's all bumble honeys and paid escorts from here on out. Okay, well, I mean, then call them the Tupperware? Call them the Tupperware. <laughs> He's lived this long without one. Why would he need it? <laughs> <laughs> Two things I'll never have to worry about. What, paid escorts? And uh, Bumble Honeys, uh, Axel? Is that what it is? No. Are no. you trying to say you're uh, the big V? He's saying a spouse and an intact kitchen. <laughs> Excel. Let me let me put something into perspective for you. Beef has a wife. Okay, I do. If he can get one, you can get one. Trust me, brother. There's somebody for everybody. I have a wife and uh, of ten years, and um, she says she's happy. <laughs> so I mean, I'm I'm doing something. <laughs> oh, it is kind of it's a little scary because you know, she's the breadwinner, kind of like the situation with one of my friends who's breaking up right now. <laughs> I constantly worry about standing on the precipice of disaster. Yeah. I mean, just literally, uh, any moment I'm worried that Mrs. Beef is about to push me off the cliff. <laughs> She okay. she definitely doesn't need me. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, drill press this fucker. Here we go. Oh, uh, we have to turn everything off, right? Yeah. Yep. We have to turn everything off. Drill press. All right. Uh, Porno. Oh yeah. Here comes drill press. Penetration. <laughs> Wait. Did you make materia? <laughs> I love you, honey. Love you too. Nice. Say bye, Mrs. Beef. We have a situation under control. But take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. Mm. They're happy. They're fed. 
<laughs> this is this is Shinra. Um, right, you've you've just made materia. That's right. Well, Beef went out of his house more than once every week. Nah, not back then. <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't know. Excel, I would like to uh, destroy your argument by saying that Mrs. Beef and I got together well, as an online relationship. Well, I guess relationship. you just have to be prepared to die. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Stenchy? Uh, thanks for the sub, brother. Showing on the bear where six did the bad touch. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, Stench, you just missed the drill press, brother. They named it after right. you. Make contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. Oh, oh that sounds like a bad idea. You're about to get gremlin. No. Oh God, it's it it's alive. Oh, you do have to lift the walls. <laughs> Stay calm. Oh no, uh, that's that's no good. <laughs> Oh god, you got GLaDOS. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. It's time to remember. Hey, it's got a USB drive. Plug it in. <laughs> oh, they jump scared me. <laughs> hey, is this that thing that they interrogated Princess Leia with? Oh. It's like a conscious black box. Oh. It can show you its memories. Wait, you are getting glad Ost. Yeah, I am. <laughs> the screen to be something that you can understand. That you can play out. Uh, Magic the Gathering. <laughs> New data connection ready. Oh. Oh, okay. It's going to do that every time I go near it. Do we have to do this the whole time? Give everybody in the audience a fucking seizure? Epilepsy? <laughs> yep, we do. Oh, God! Oh, oh he's Bray Wyatt. <laughs> oh, we're going back to adventure mode. Okay. You wake up in the cryopod. Struggling against gravity to force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface as tore a hole in the ship hole. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Uh. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Baphomet? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Drill press. Drill, <laughs> drill. You misspelled press. <laughs> Yeah, it is pretty interesting, Stench. It is. It's it's different. It's definitely different, man. Like, they're, from what uh, I read online, people were saying it's reminiscent of, like, Black Mirror stuff. And I was like, ah, I kind of like Black Mirror. Let's do it. Uh, look around. Two sisters' room. Two sisters' room. The craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight. And the computer terminal adjacent blinks. Uh, two sisters, one cup. Nope. Memory unavailable. <laughs> Redacted. Uh, Purged. Look at craft. Nope. Uh, look at Look wreckage. at crack. The ship has been torn apart on its final journey. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Very little is salvageable from this. Systems are largely destroyed and unusable. So we looked at the wreckage. There is uh, wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight. And the computer terminal adjacent blinks. You should probably open the airlock door. It's locked. The airlock manual controls are locked shut. It requires a security override. 1986. The system looks usable. You tap at the screen and the airlock door splutters, splutters to life, <laughs> slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of its reserves. Okay. Bye, uh, ship. Open door. We hardly knew thee. This organ was taken from what we think was the. <laughs> organ. 
<laughs> These memories are different. They're not like the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. See what else it hides. I'll trigger the epilepsy. Oh god, I'm getting scanned at a target self checkout. <laughs> yeah, the passcode is Klaatu Baratu ah! Necto. <laughs> I mean, that, that is totally a USB D right there, right? <laughs> you squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. It was Earth, you yell. It was Earth the entire time. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Shut up, scientists. It's my time to shine. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. No okay. one cares about your voice acting. We already paid for you. Okay. Uh, next to your vehicle, uh, look around and see you are surrounded by... I mean, I could just look around again, but I think it's probably just... Look gonna... arrow. Look air a ruined. A crash site. A crash site. Smoke billows from the down ship. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Just like your personal life. Yeah. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. No. You don't recognize any of the star patterns above you. Ah, fuck, I already did that. Wait, but what was it? Find Triton. Beef narration is top notch. He is. He's doing a really good job. I told him before the stream, I was like, Beef, you're just going to do all the narration. He's, he's killing it, man. It's going to play the ring movie. <laughs> Next connection. <laughs> or what it's going to do, it's going to play the ring footage. People's ring doorbell footage. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, it, it's going to be a dog asking you to let it back in the house. <laughs> nah, yeah, no. Uh, Stench, I didn't think you were trolling. I thought you were you were being legit. Um, uh, what were you we supposed to do right now? <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> Beef needs a role in a game with an extremely sarcastic narrator. It'd be so fun. Dude, he'd be fantastic in Portal 3. Guaranteed. Hey, anybody that wants to hire me, I am I am fully for sale. I'm a whore. Uh, Go into... The light. The light. <laughs> Memory action unavailable. Um, Walk into... No. <laughs> walk into... Walk into what? I don't know how to get back to the previous menu. <laughs> Get uh, in ship. Get in ship. Mm. <laughs> go End it all. Go to... Sister's bedroom. Sister's bedroom. Go to wreckage. Walk away. Uh, get out. Get out. What are we <laughs> supposed to do? Look at crash site. Uh, look at ship. Tell me what to do. There's no going, There's no home. going okay. home in this. The symbols and writing on the ship are barely visible anymore. Read the symbols. Or look at the symbols. Read the symbols. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at symbols. symbols. Sim uh, look at symbols. Symbols. The writing shows partially shows the name. The writing shows partially shows the name of the ship. Omnistulacupe. These words will haunt you. Oh. Oh, well, that's wonderful. The writing shows partially shows. So, this alien's first language is not English. Om omniscient. Uh, omniscient instinctual mea culpa. <laughs> uh, no, uh, it's omniscient spatula. <laughs> omniscient spatula? <laughs> Uh, walk around. No. Memory uh, unavailable. Look. No. Look, object not recognized. I'm yeah. sorry, I can't do that, Dave. Uh, memory wipe me. It won't do it. Uh, what are we? What are we missing here? Something with the symbols, I'm sure. Uh, Go to symbols? Chat, figure it out for us. Look online, give us the answer. Make your own symbols. 
Uh, make symbols. Um, Baphomet. Baphomet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, play the symbols. Exit. Uh, no. Uh, Control Alt Delete. That didn't work. No, I was just saying you hit the buttons on your <laughs> Play now. the symbols. End it all. Jonathan. <laughs> Alt F4. <laughs> yes, you should do that right now. Alt F4. No, you should hit that on your keyboard. <laughs> Alt F4. No. <laughs> um, what what are we doing, man? Um, uh, penisland.com. Uh, Do we think someone in your stream is actually going to go there? Because I'll stop doing that. Nah, nobody. Everybody's <laughs> hip to that. Well, maybe not okay. Axel because he's a young baby. But <laughs> he, yeah, I mean, he's only eighteen, so. Uh, smoke billows from the township. Uh, the uh, look at lights. The lights are blinding. You can make out silhouettes, but you will need to move some of the surrounding oh. wreckage for a better view. Move the wreckage. Bam! We did it. Fantastic. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The light that surround the light the lights that surround you now attack your senses. Nice. Fight back. Uh, uh fight back. Uh all right. Um look at, light. at the lights. You squint at the light trying to shield your visor lens at the same time. It is a circle of artificial lights set up around you to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. Uh oh. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks toward you. Oh, I already you did just that. Just did that. All right. All right. So obviously, a silhouette starts walking toward. Start swinging. The. Uh... Swing at Silo. Oh, <laughs> Swing at Shadow. <laughs> uh, DDT Silo. Fuck, I, can't, uh, I can't spell Silo. <laughs> uh, DDT Shiloh. Mm -hmm. um, it's. <laughs> uh, look at Silo. Wave at Silhouette. The Silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Says his name is Beefy. Some sort of mask covers his face, or he's just that ugly. It beckons you to approach. I am back with chaos and horror. Have I missed? Um, we did the first chapter, Erica, and this is the second chapter. I don't think these chapters are intertwined together. I think they're standalones. So all we've done so far is we drill pressed and microwaved a heart, and this orb came out. And now we can kind of like link up with it somehow. I don't know. Alien yeah, stuff. When he's not cyclopsing us. Yeah. Uh, and now we found uh, some silhouette out of the darkness is coming, beckons us to approach. Uh, and approach. Erica, let me, uh, let me tell you that first one ended like most of my sexual escapades <laughs> where, you know, building, building, building. It feels like it's like 21 gun salute. Here comes the cannon. Ah, uh, gagunk. Gagunk. Look at mask. Uh, walk to sil the silhouette. Sil the spelling is literally right there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, Wave. Some sort of mask. It beckons you to approach. Say yeah. hello. Nope. Say hello. Look at silhouette. Okay, the silhouette just... is bipedal and bulky. I told you this already. Okay. It is now judging you. Beckons you to approach. Well, approach silhouette. I thought we did this. Go to silhouette. I did that. Did you? I think I misspelled it too. Go to silhouette. Nope. Silhouette? I thought there! I I For God's for sake. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. You should be proud of yourself. Oh, oh, we got a movie sign. I'm... 
Oh god. Oh, he met up with Walter White. <laughs> I'm the one who knocks. We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. We are legion. Damn it, you got there before I got there. Um, I was vaping. <laughs> uh, also, there's something very humorous to me about occasional machine beep. Um, uh, l l we're going to look around. Look around. We are in a bed, in a small and artificially lit room, with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor, with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. When did this happen? Oh. We must torture them back. Oh. Game comes Listen to free. the voices. Game comes with free seizures. Yeah, John, I know. That's why I keep having... I'm not epileptic, but every time like there's some blinky shit, uh, I do get some weird itches in my brain. So, like, I Tick. fucking... Uh, Six, you must stare into the light. Uh, Look into the Walmart scanner. Uh, uh, okay, we're in a bed... Look at door? No, look at writing. Let's look at the writing. On wall. Duck together are a series of flat sheets with symbols across them. Some sort of writing. Symbols seem to indicate where on our body they had to cut. It's where the bad man touched us. <laughs> We've been butchered and maimed over and over. Goonie had it right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, display monitor. All right, uh, look at display monitor. The screen didn't give anything away. Flashing symbols and what could be numbers in rhythm. No. Uh, Memory action unavailable. <laughs> adjacent is uh, wires scrape out. Uh, remove wires? Oh, it worked. Not a good idea. What just happened? What's that Who is prompting you? Who's sending you the, the whispers? Who is guiding you through the game? Damn it, Axel, I said don't help him. <laughs> we yank at the wires, protruding, 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 forever chest. Together, we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. This game really loves the word adjacent. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, action sets a, uh, go, uh, let's look around. Oh, no, okay. We are uh, in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room, now dangling loose. Oh. They have tortured us. Go to hallway? Shit. Uh, leave room. Open door. There we go. Specimen 20 left lab 15. We're going to move. Oh my god. That vision. It's not a memory. It's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. We got a movie sign. Look, the, the, the dark forest road. Oh god, it is the ring. We got orb. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us, and a lock clamps shut. We are alone, and yet together. Okie doke. Um, slip around. It is some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets, with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut. And the other door had an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, 
a table holding only a small device taken from your it's my our pronouns ship <laughs> uh, okay uh, look at device it was an access code terminal for a wide connection allowing commanders to commandeer other hosts only you I we pronouns have access to these codes it's time to use them what is that oh god cool. what is it doing? oh no it's puzzle break uh, puzzle sign Mr. Asian, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We had to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. Oh, you haven't even begun to regret. Yeah, brother. I'm like, you put me, you put my brain inside of an orb. So, I mean, fuck. Like, it's too late now. All right, what's here? Uh, okay, arrow keys up and down, select row. All right. And then left and right, change cliff. Okay. All right, so you're trying to recreate the symbols on the left, it looks like. Okay, so we need the... So we need eight. We need oh, the... looks like uh, whoever was the creator of Commandant and MTG passed away. <laughs> uh, oh, Sheldon Menery? 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 Shel Shelly Minery. Yeah, no, I saw that the other day. I was just like, ah, oh, he was a cool dude. He was big into Commander. Um, well, since he created it, I'm sure. Well, I think Mark Rosewater also helped with that. Um, so we need another eight right there, I guess. Wait, are we supposed to match the ones to the left? Or the I match think so. Or match the ones over here? Over over here, I think, is what we're is what you're trying to do. Okay. Well, then that's what I've been doing. All right, and then the other one looks like looks like that. <laughs> one. Nope, that didn't. Nope, that don't. Work. Uh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's brute force time. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do. That's Six's favorite part of the game. Oh God, fuck me. All, All right. right, so row three, uh, I think that one's wrong. I think I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. What is it? Are you just waiting there until Exel whispers you the answer again? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, Exel. Whenever you want to give us the code, that's great. I mean, there's only how many things are in, are in each row? All right, all right. So we're all the way to the left: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. All right. So there's literally what twenty-four combinations. Yeah, brute force it redeem. <laughs> brute force, here we go. <laughs> uh, right. I I mean maybe I'll just do the one below it. I guess that looks like that one. That does then, look like that one. And then that one. It doesn't help that they spend like the last twenty minutes giving us seizures, and now it's use your eyes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're just like, ah, oh, you need these? Ah, oh, too bad. No, that didn't work. Something, something. I don't know what to do here. Okay. Well. Just tell Exel to put the answer in chat. Oh, wait. Oh, it's there. Uh, I mean, you probably need to look at that. Well, how am I supposed to know what one fucking starts it? Well, I would say start with the beginning. Maybe Come match on. up the stuff on the left side? Nah, that's not gonna help. Alright, no, no, stop, hold on. Alright, so that the top one looked right. Well let let, let me find look, look at the look at the Walmart light again. The Walmart. The top light. one looked right. Alright, so we're looking for the dude sitting on the really tall toilet. Is it that one? The one on the left. The, the one on the left stays static. So you're looking for the symbol on the left, and then match the one on the right to it. So that's the the headstand, uh, the headstand vodka drinker. Headstand vodka drinker. 
Go back to the Walmart light. Alright, so find the, the tall turret sitter. That one? Alright, so... That one. Okay. And then it's got to match the thing for the tall turret sitter. Alright, so now uh, the RC Pro AM course on the left side. That? Was it? I don't know. Oh god, I can't can't handle that. Well, you have to, or else we're not going to pass this stupid thing. Hmm. Axel, look it up for us. <laughs> if Vicer was here, I'd tell him to put it in Chad GPT, but he's not here. Okay, he's got it. Axel's got it. All right, be, uh, be free the answer. The first one is the one it started. From second, one to the right. So you don't know which one it started on? No. Nope. The third one, two to the right, and the fourth one, three to the right. All from their default symbol, which we don't remember. Yeah. Fuck. Axel, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need pictures. Yeah. Yeah, Axel, hang dong. Hang dong in the uh, chat. All right, so the the third one was the was that eight symbol. So that's where it started on the third one. I remember that. Mm -hmm. All right, so the third one is two to the right. That one. That. Yes. Okay. All right. What symbol was the second one? Let's let's roll through because the first one is right. Nope. The first one is good. Leave leave the first one. Which one did that start on? <laughs> Fuck if I remember. Oh man, that's bad. Yeah. Puzzles. Axel, send pictures. <laughs> the fourth one. What did that one look like? All right. Go back to the Walmart scanner. Oh, God. Okay, so um, the third one is right. All right, so good. Find the tall turlet. For the second one? Yes. That one. This one? No, go back. That one. That one. All right. All right, so let's find the, the, the parallel parking instructions. Oh, got it. Brute force! Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, you owe me for that, because I totally got there somewhat. Kind yeah, of. you did. Uh, John gave me the link, too. Ah, uh, thanks, John. It's over. Oh, we got bunches of orbs. All right, so one of them is anger. One of them is cooking instructions. One of them is cake recipe. Yeah. I was going to say, this is just the ending to Portal 2. One of them is space. Oh, we got to look at them. In we go. Into the Walmart scanner. Too late. We don't want the whole fact, John. One day, station. This will haunt you. No, yes we do. No. <laughs> yes we do, John. <laughs> All right, we cool. We don't want cool. the whole fact. That was a little bit better, but again, it ended uh, at nothing. Ah, uh, it's okay. I like it. I like the ambiguity. Like, I think that's cool. This is... It's literally uh, blue ball highlights. I mean, you know, they they leave it open to interpretation. I think it's cool. It's not bad. Uh, leave it to interpreting. Yeah, that's right. Sure. <laughs> Beef, how much time do you got? Are you uh, No, I cannot do with another one. Can't do another one. Okay. No, I can't do I can't do the station process. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, so now it's uh, it's ripped off portal. And it ripped off Lost, and mm -hmm. it ripped off Stranger Things, and mm -hmm. uh, and um, it it ripped, it ripped off um, uh, Half Life in the way that uh, there's no ending, yeah. and never will be. Exactly. Mm. I don't think we have enough people for Jackbox, so 
I mean, uh, yeah, we do. We got Excel, we got Jun, and we got Goonie. They'll, they'll play Jackbox. I guess it depends. Do you guys uh, chat? We'll put it to you. Do you guys want to do uh, maybe a quick round or two of Jackbox? Yeah, you want to do Jackbox and cleanse your palate? Um, if not, then we'll close the stream. I mean, Axel's in. I mean, he never, like, actually, he, he'll get, join the game and then never play. <laughs> oh, Erica's still here. She'll play, too. Yeah. Erica, what am I, chopped liver? Ah, sorry, Erica, I didn't, I thought you were doing your thing, you know. Also, chopped liver, famous for how much the Quakers enjoy it. <laughs> liver and onions all day, baby. Liver John and onions is working, with a side of oatmeal. John is working on a wall of brick. Uh, allow Goonie, he got modded. <laughs> Jackbox is fun, but I'm playing D4 like a hooker. So we only have two just people. I'm playing D4. You don't need to play D4. We stop my, playing. My God. Do what we do. So we only have two people. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's up to you guys. No, I, it, it's fine. I mean, there are four player games on Jackbox, but we don't have to currently. I would just like to point out to everybody that uh, Six says he hates you all and is not going to be back for two weeks. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm going to, we're going to have to take two weeks off because next weekend I have to work through the weekend. I have to, next week I have to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, normal work week. But then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I have to fit my five routes into four days because that following Wednesday I'm going to Vegas going to vegas baby i'll be in vegas so, so, so i would miss. just like to point out that i graciously offered to still come in and do the stream even when six is working <laughs> and i also offered to hey i'll still do the stream i'm pretty sure vegas has wi-fi <laughs> i can't bring all this shit to fucking vegas get the fuck out of here i didn't even check a bag so all you need is your uh, uh, amiga 2600 computer from the first game that burned your balls <laughs> beef will become atlas <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah vegas is fun to visit for like two to three days well i'm going to magic con John, that's why I'm going. I'm they're having MagicCon in Vegas this year. So I'm gonna attend MagicCon. There's it's like two days. I'll be at MagicCon, Magic the Gathering convention. Um and you then, see Erica's on board. She just said just take the Apex fifty two hundred laptop. Your dad got you out of the attic. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And uh, I'm gonna be at MagicCon for two days, and then basically the rest of the time that I'm in Vegas, I will either be with some sort of escort, or I will be in a casino. That's it. Uh, Dude, you are gonna lose all your money one way or the other. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I plan on it. Like, I I asked Dad. I was like, Dad, how much money should I bring? He's like, five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> It's like okay, I'll bring five thousand dollars. <laughs> I mean, yeah, John's right. You you probably could have bought a black lotus with the amount of money you're looking to gamble and piss away on the hooers. Nah, I don't need a black lotus. I I mean, outside of like you know the fact that it's a power nine, I think it's not really like especially commander nowadays. Power creep has been so strong that you can't really win games with a black lotus anymore. I mean, Dude. it would help you. Definitely, but it's not uh, like an instant win anymore. Guys, this is the frustration that I deal with every day. We're literally telling him to buy a Black Lotus for his collection and financial sake, and he's like, no, nah, I can't play it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't even, to be honest with you, I don't even like foils. I, it's so funny uh, how magic is nowadays. Like, I, I don't even like foils. Like, when I get a foil of something, I'm like, fuck, because I don't play foils. Because I refuse to play them in my deck because uh, nowadays foils curl. And if you have a foil in your deck, it curls all your other fucking cards. So, fucking, yep. I hate it. Yep, that's the reason you lose all your games. Nah, no. It's because they can, they can tell. They can tell what cards you have because the foils fold them up. Well, to be honest with you, I lose all, I lose a lot of my games playing Magic because I'm too stoned and drunk. <laughs> so, like... Turns out, turns out, marijuana and alcohol, not performance enhancing drugs to magic. <laughs> I, I would just like to point out that you have had four people interacting with you ever since you started talking about ma magic. So next stream, kids, we're playing Arena. Yeah, Beef, Beef is, 
Oh God, Beef has been relentless on my ass. Cause <laughs> one, he wants to play all these gotcha games that he fucking plays on his phone. And yes, he wants I want I want to have a bro down episode of Beefy's bullshit. I I do because I want to introduce you to what I use to pass the time away sitting at the radio. He he wants me to play hearthstone and marvel snap and all these fucking gotcha games and i'm just like brother you you literally named the two games that aren't gotcha games out of the list of what i play <laughs> no i i want you to play um big booby bot battler um or uh, omni heroes you should pull up that picture i sent you show that to everybody well send it um, to my discord and i can, I can right, put it in on. here give me a second uh oh god oh I, I gotta do I gotta do two things at once now. I haven't had to type entire stream. <laughs> Chandelar. I did do I did do Chandelar. I did do a stream with Chandelar. None of y'all came. <laughs> so I was like, okay, nobody likes Chandelar. I'll I'll stay away from it. Alright, let's see. What's a good one for uh for big booby bot battler? Uh this one is. Uh hold on. So for uh, you know, uh, it, just in case anyone doesn't understand the it is uh, Omni Heroes is the game that I'm suggesting to play with Six. Uh, I'm sending him a picture right now. There's one that he'll be enticed with. Okay, okay. Uh, Clo uh, Clotho, the Moira of Destiny. Here, let me. All right, let's save this. It is funny because like Beef was telling me about this before we started streaming. And he's yeah. like, oh, I think you'd be into this. And I was just like, why? And he's like, uh, big boobs. I was like, okay. <laughs> the, Correct. Talk yeah, in the like, language. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm in. Where I'm in. is it? There it is. Okay. Let's bring Streamlabs back up. Can we drop that? Yep. Did it come up? Let me see if it came up on the stream. Yep, there it is. <laughs> so, you know. The <laughs> I mean, there's uh, there's this one, too. We're speaking my language now. Like, <laughs> it's like, okay, all right, you got me, you got me. We'll remove that. <laughs> I see the appeal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, there's that, and do that, and this, and then, hold on, let me bring that back up. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. And then there's that, you know? Like, so that, that was Clotho. Uh, this is Nyx and Dorabella. You know, very, very modest, kind of like, you know, appropriate. <laughs> By the way, two of the most powerful characters in the game. Yeah. So this obviously this game is about women's rights. The the bigger the boobs, the bigger the power. That's just like real life. Right. Absolutely. Like, I mean, you know, uh, very magical. Uh, they are they, they are mages, but it's very magical. I mean, yeah. They're, they're, yeah, I think you were there, uh, Erica, and I think John was there too. Like it was funny because I did two streams of Chandelar actually, and then the first stream of Chandelar was uh, the fucking overlay was all fucked up. And Vicer was there with me, refused to tell me that it was all fucked up. <laughs> that, so I went that the whole prick. stream with it all fucked up. Oh, that ass. <laughs> um, I love Vicer. But, and I know that you did two streams of Chandelar. Uh, how many massive bazongas did they have? Uh, not many. Not many. Not many. I mean, it, the only boob that I can think of in Magic is Urza. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's an asshole. Urza, he is. He really is. I. It's funny though, because like, even though he's an absolute like eugenicist, <laughs> like he's still very likable for whatever reason. I still dig Urza. I think he's super oh, cool. Oh, for God's sakes, with you. Uh, he, he's a likable genocidal maniac. Uh, I mean, there has to be some reason he's st stuck uh, around in the lore for so long. You know. I mean, um, so other other games that we can play is a uh, WWE Champions. You should look that up, and uh, it's wrestling Candy Crush. That that's very enjoyable. <laughs> also, um, it, it is what I single handedly spend all of Mrs. Beast's money on. Well, when we come back, we'll probably do Pentiment. Uh, because I have that downloaded and I do want to play it and it looks really good. We'll do Pentiment and then after we're done with Pentiment, the series will do Beef Scotch games and Beef will force me to fucking yeah. play these stupid games and I will hate every fucking minute of it. But I guess it's fair for fucking subjecting Beef to all the puzzle torture. 
<laughs> oh my god. I mean, you literally are giving me stories with no ending. This is my job. This is this is literally me answering 911 calls every day where it's like, oh, the murderer is in the house and he's got the knife and he whispered, come get me into the phone. And oh, you hung up. I don't know what happened now. <laughs> Well, all right. Let me let me see if there's anybody streaming while I look for a raid. Uh, Beef, do you have a nine one one story? You told me about uh, a story right before we got on there. You can tell that one if you want. Do you, you want me to tell that one and leave everybody on a down note? I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, that... uh, this is the breakdown. <laughs> we leave everybody on a down note. <laughs> oh my god, we we leave everyone wanting less. Yeah, I mean, it's um, guys. I I took a call earlier in the week where there's um, a lot of domestic history. Just a lot of whatever this dude beating on his girlfriend was, and it is uh, abject and horrible. And unfortunately, she always seemed to not press charges, which is, there. there is a real thing for the, but how can I fix him if he's in jail part of the whole thing, which is terrible, and I wish that they had better senses of self-worth than that. However, they don't, and they keep taking him back, and they never arrested the guy. She called in twice that day. Uh, once was at four o'clock when, uh, he's beating me and choking me and attacking my child as well. And then another time at 1130 when it became, I shot him in the head. I mean, it was a pretty decent escalation there because of, uh, he decided that after she called the cops on him the first time, well, he just can't have that. And she had him on the ground, choking her, standing over her. And she reached under the bed, grabbed a gun, and shot him in the head. And rough. The real fun part of it was that the call taker got to hear in the background him flopping around and gasping for air and saying, I need help. Because he was still alive. And she gave him the fight club shoot through the mouth, apparently. And he's still flopping around in there with a giant hole in his mouth. And she runs outside, panics, and leaves their nine-month-old child in there with the, the 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 guy with the extra hole in his face. Oh my god! <laughs> so that's been the bro down this week, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, uh, guys, uh, on a scale of one to four, how much better was that than the games we played? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, now that we've traumatized him, I tried to warn him. Nah. Six pressured me into it. Nah. He's going to keep doing this until eventually I shoot his gargoyle jaw off. 3.5. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh. more of an ending than we got in any of these stories. Oh, man. Uh, well, I had a good time today. Beef is a great narrator. He did a fantastic job. Everybody give it up to Beef. He was wonderful today. He did really good. That. Thank um, you. I'll take whatever whatever support I get. Will the bro down will return in two weeks. We'll come back with Pentiment, which is No, a, no, we're we're gonna come back in three weeks because you're off for two weeks, you twat. Oh. I don't know. I mean if maybe if I have some time in between, maybe we'll jump on there. But when we come back, we'll come back with Pentiment. Pentiment is a it's done in the fourteen hundreds art style, Bavarian Bible art style. Hold on, I'll find a picture real quick. Give me one second. Right, so it, um, it, it, anyone that is not familiar, 1400s Bavarian Bible is a Bible with uh, some custard in the middle <laughs> and it, a little little chocolate right on top. Custard in the middle. Right. It, it is uh, sticky with sacrilege. <laughs> sticky with sacrilege. <laughs> Which I think that might be the name of the next stream. <laughs> oh, God, sticky with sacrilege. That's fucking funny as <laughs> shit. Oh, man. That's good. That's goodness. All right, hold on. Let me. I'll bring this up and add this to. Oh God, it's cold as shit in here. Yeah, we'll we will quote the entire time. Um, uh, Berliner sixteen twelve. Berliner sixteen twelve. All right. I made that joke just for Excel because I'm pretty sure he's the only one that'll get it. So this is this is kind of what the oh art, god this is what the art style looks like in Pentiment and so that's why I'm like oh I'm all about this 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 is my this is my jam right here I mean is this Pentiment or the Wicker Man <laughs> this is Pentiment um, not the bees <laughs> so we'll we'll come back with this. I might stream a solo stream before uh, then. I don't fucking know, guys. I got a lot of shit Axel. on my fucking plate. 
didn't listen to the joke. Come on, that was easily my worst joke of the stream, and you missed it. I mean, do you guys, uh, Chad? Do you guys have a raid target? None of my people are online. Um, but if you guys have someone that you want me to raid, I'll I'll go ahead and raid them. If not, I'm gonna close the stream. So you got like 60 seconds. I um I suggest we raid the container. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Fuzzy fuzzy pickles. pickles. Uh man, it was so weird that Frankie's not streaming right now. It's the weirdest fucking thing, man. Like, what? Uh, did he die? No, these fuck the flood fucked all of his computer oh. equipment. Oh, it's just from the way you said it. It's like, oh, it's so weird that he's not streaming now, man. I miss him. I mean, it's it's we'll never see him again, and it's oh man, Ziggy Pixter. All right, uh, we're going with Ziggy Pixter. Oh hey, yeah, Hiko's here. Thanks for joining us right at the end, just like every week. We appreciate it, Hiko. Yeah. Thanks for the 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 completely tertiary view. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hiko was streaming like and fuck it. He streams at like Dracula hours. So right, like, did I do that wrong? Did I do that wrong? <laughs> Well, Hiko, thank you for tuning in. Uh, everybody, it was a pleasure playing for y'all. Thank you. It was it was fun, no matter what I told Six. And no matter how um, I tell him he's never allowed to play this game again, and I will force him to uninstall it when he's out in Vegas. Uh, for whatever reason, it won't let me rate him, uh, Hiko. So I don't know. We're just going to end the stream. Fuck it. Whatever. Uh, uh, well, you know. I, I love five, every five, single blue. one of you. You guys are fantastic. Uh, you guys, uh, I've been in, I've had a shitty fucking week, and, but it was great to get on here and laugh with you guys. And I will, uh, the procrastinate and dread ever stream me again, and then remember that it's actually good to stream and blah blah blah. You know, we went over this in the beginning, so that's how you fight the depression. Remember, if you're still alive, you're not struggling with depression, depression is struggling with you. That's right, mm -hmm. uh, that's right. Bow to none, uh, for all the lumps that life gives you, give it back twice as much. Um, when life gives you lemons, burn life's house down. That's right. Mm -hmm. With the uh, lemons. Indeed. Uh, clap, clap, bloop, buddy. Clap, clap, bloop. You guys are fantastic. Thank you very little. You're welcome even less. Uh, fuck off. Go fuck yourself.